three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Monday, March 25th, another day the Lord has made. I'm your brother, Adam, with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. As always, let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning back in with us today. Your love and support of this channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And if you can, before we get to the video, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload an end time video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Now, guys, to today's End Times video. Let's go! Okay, guys, the verse for today's video is Matthew 24, 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Now family, that was the red letters, the prophetic words of Jesus, and I'm going to show you with headlines that we are 100% living in the biblical last days. Everything that Jesus said in Matthew 24, 7 is going down in this generation. So family, we're going to break Matthew 24, 7 down, and I'm going to show you with headlines that the words of Jesus are playing out right before our eyes. So family, let's get right into this. We're going to start off with kingdom versus kingdom. Family, which I've told you before, I believe personally that that means the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. I could be wrong there. Let me know if you think I am in the comment section below. But I believe it's the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. So let's look at these headlines. The first one comes from Live Sight News, and listen to this one. Planet Fitness says, Discomfort not a reason to ban alphabet community men from women's locker rooms. Family, let me say this. No man has no business in a women's locker room, and no woman has no business in a men's locker room. That is definitely the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. Headline number two is from the Charlotte Observer, and check this one out. After school Satan club for elementary kids is met with hostility, lawsuit says. Good for them, because we're seeing these after school Satan clubs pop up all over the world. So good for that school in Charlotte. Guys, Satan is doing everything he can to go after our children. And family, that is a for sure sign that we are living in the end times. We need to pray for the children of this world. Now to the next one, one we're seeing a lot these days, Nation Shall Rise Against Nation. This headline comes from the Western Journal, F-16 Scramble as Russian M-I-S-S-I-L-E enters NATO airspace. Now speaking of nation rising against nation, Russia's rose against Ukraine, they're rising against the United States, and now it looks like they got beef with France. Nation is rising against nation. Now to the New York Times. Trump urges Israel to finish up your WAR. Now guys, we all know what's going on in Israel. They got like a seven front conflict going on. That's nation against nation. And this one comes from Newsweek. Russia facing many issues after Crimea strike Ukraine. Now family, that's just a few examples of nation rising against nation. There's over 10 conflicts going on between nations against nations all across this world. And the closer we get to Christ's return, guys, we're going to see more nations rise against nations. For sure, sign, family, that we're living in the end times. Now to the next part of Matthew 24, 7, famines. First one comes from Vox. Gaza's risk of famine is accelerating faster than anything we've seen this century. Due to everything going on in Gaza, guys, they are facing a severe famine. Now to African news. Ethiopia's Tigray region on brink of famine amidst conflict and climate crisis. And family, this one comes from WFP. Hunger hotspots. Four countries face famine 
UN report warns. Ethiopia, Nigeria, South Sudan, and Yemen brace for starvation, says FAO and WFP study. Guys, that's just a few of them. So many people all across the world are facing famine. We need to keep them in our prayers. And the next part of Matthew 24 7 we can look at is pestilences. Now, will you all remember 2020? Check out these headlines. All right, this comes from New York 4. M E A S L E S outbreak extends to Long Island after CDC warning. Now, family, they're saying there's an outbreak going around of M E A S L E S. Now, guys, most of us have been jabbed for that as a baby, but let me tell you a story. I had a brother who was unalive due to that shot. He took his MMR jab and he had an allergic reaction to it. Well, actually, he caught measles and it spread to his brain. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. And due to that, I've never been jabbed for anything in my life. I've had a medical waiver. Now they're saying there's an outbreak of them again. Guys, this is part of the birth pains leading up to the return of the king. Now the next one comes from the Daily Record. UK holidaymakers head into hot spots, warned about serious diseases and infections rise. And now to Rutgers, dengue outbreak in Argentina on track to break records. Yeah, family, they're saying that outbreak is really bad over there. And family, just not these ones we talked about, there's all kind of pestilences going around all across the world, guys, especially in third world countries. We need to keep the people affected by these things in our prayers. Now to the next part of Matthew 24 7, earthquakes. And earthquakes is something we talk about a lot on this channel. Seven Israel National News reported this on March 23rd. Earthquake fell in northern and central Israel. Guys, that's actually their second earthquake in the week. And when you see earthquakes like that in Israel, it catches people's attention. Part of the birth pain process leading up to the return of the king and family, that's facts. Now the next one's from my home state, the state. Overnight rumbling in Columbia area is confirmed to be latest earthquake to hit South Carolina. Now, family, we've been having a lot of earthquakes here in South Carolina, and that's kind of rare. Over the last year, they've been picking up big time. Not major ones, they're smaller ones, but we're seeing a lot of them. Jesus said we would see earthquakes in diverse places. Now to NDTV. Earthquake of Matthew 5.5 hits Pakistan. Now, family, remember this. In Matthew 24-7, when Jesus said we would see earthquakes in diverse places, the word he used were seismos. That just don't mean earthquakes. It means a shaking, a commotion, a tempest, an earthquake. It also means gale force winds, which would include hurricanes, thunderstorms, and stuff like that. And think about the increase in all the storms we've seen all across the world. If you don't believe me, go to the watchers.news and you can see all the storms that have been going down all across the world. Just like Jesus said, we are seeing earthquakes, gale force winds, and storms in diverse places. For sure, fire sign that we are living in the biblical last days. 100% proof. So you see my beautiful channel family, the prophetic words of Jesus in Matthew 24-7 is playing out in the headlines right before our eyes, guys. 100% proof that we are living in the biblical last days and our Messiah is coming soon. Our redemption draweth nigh. And the closer we get to that appointed day, guys, these birth pains, everything in Matthew 24, 7 is going to pick up and increase. Just like a woman in labor, the closer she gets to delivery, contractions become more intense. These earthquakes are the birth pain contractions here in the end times. Now, my beautiful channel family, let me leave you with some good news. And the good news is, nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born of a virgin and lived a sinless, perfect life. And at the age of 33, he laid down his life for us on the cross. The man who never sinned paid our sin debt. He had a crown of thorns put on his head, nails put in his hand. He was beaten in front of his mother. His perfect, innocent blood poured out of his body to pay our sin debt. That's true love. The enemy thought he defeated Jesus. Because Jesus lay dead in the tomb for how long, guys? Three days, three days, three days. But no tomb could hold our Messiah. Jesus defeated death. He defeated the grave. Then he ascended to go be with his Father, the Most High God. 
And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. And family, that's facts. And don't waste time. You're not promised tomorrow. Time is short and Jesus is coming soon. So place your trust in him today. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment because it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because you see, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And remember, no prayer request is too small, no prayer request is too big for our God, and family, that's facts. And if you want to make a donation to what we do at the Watchman Adam News Channel, it would be greatly appreciated and much needed. We have ways you could do so. Check the description box below. As always, please pray about it first. And please keep us in your prayers. we got a really huge outreach trip coming up next month. So your prayers will be greatly appreciated. We're going down to Orlando to feed the homeless. So please keep us in your prayers. Well, family, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 30 Two, one, I love you and remember, let's go our butts Take care, family, and keep on looking up. Let's go!